in this problem, I have a boom that rotates with an angular velocity of uh, 0.02 radians per second and 0.01 radians per second squared acceleration. Okay? The boom also can extend with a velocity of uh, 0.5 feet per second. It does that at a constant speed okay, uh, relative to the boom. So I want to determine the velocity and acceleration of this point B, the total velocity and acceleration. So I'm going to use this equation with my sliding connection, again, because I have that relative velocity of B with respect to A. That is, B can move relative to A at a speed of 0.5 feet per second. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to set up my axes, and it's a, a, a good hint that you always set your axes up okay, in the direction of uh, between A and B, and that's going to make your life a lot easier. And uh, it, uh, it just makes the cross products a lot easier to deal with. So I actually set up my axes cockade like this. So one of the axes is along the boom AB, calling that my Y axis. Okay. So when I do that, to find the velocity of B, I take the velocity of A, which is zero. Okay. That's stationary. It doesn't move. Omega, given here, is negative 0 0.02 in the K direction. R is 60 feet in the J direction. And V is 0.5 in the j direction, right? That's the velocity of b with respect to a. Okay, so again, these cross products are a lot easier because I set my y-axis up in the a, b axis. Okay, so I very simply, once I do the cross product, I can combine the velocity of b as 1.2i plus 0.5j. Now, just remember that i and j are at these uh, angled locations like this. So depending on, you know, what you're looking for, you figure that out. Now, I can do the same thing with the acceleration of a, okay, where, again, I'm sorry, the acceleration of b. The acceleration of a is zero. It's stationary right here, okay? Alpha is negative 0.01 cross r, which is 60 in the j direction, okay? Omega, we already talked about, is negative 2 in the k direction, so omega cross omega cross r, again, 60 feet in the j direction, okay? Plus omega, which is, again, negative 0.2 in the k direction, crossed with my velocity, which is 0.5 in the j direction, plus the acceleration, that's zero because the velocity is constant. So again, this makes my cross products a lot easier if I set up my x and y axes uh, in line with my boom. So once I go through all of the cross products in addition, I find that the acceleration of uh, B is actually 0.6 in the I, negative 0 0.024 in the J. Now, again, keep in mind what direction my X and Y axes are. Okay, so when doing these problems, first of all, if you've got uh, a velocity, a relative velocity, you're going to have to include these extra terms. And the second thing is if you set up your axes along the, you know, that line of motion, Okay, uh, between A and B, it makes our cross products much easier to deal with. Uh, so just uh, that's a nice hint uh, in solving these problems.